Hello, I am thrilled to present this year's recipients, the Warder Clyde Ali Best Student Paper Award. Warder Clyde Ali was an ecologist who studied group behavior in aquatic and terrestrial animals, perhaps best known for the Ali effect, a positive relationship between population density and individual fitness. Typically, the second president-elect presents the Ali Award, but this year, Dr. Susan Alberts had a student in the competition and recused herself from the final decisions. So as a member of the judging committee, I am pleased to announce these awards and honor our outstanding young scientists. Students who presented in the ALE sessions have not yet or have just recently received their PhD. They first submitted an extended abstract describing the work they wanted to present for the award. And from those, a committee of six judges selected 18 presentations, which we then watched and evaluated on Tuesday in three excellent sessions. We scored those presentations on the strength of the question, the potential impact of the results, and the quality of the presentation itself. The judges were so impressed with the quality of the research and the presentations this year, and we had a difficult time selecting only one speaker to receive the award. So we are pleased to award the best student paper to two individuals whose work exemplifies two very different approaches to the science of animal behavior. We are also pleased to award an honorable mention to a third presenter. So without further ado, the recipients of the 2021 Warder Clyde Ali Best Student Paper Award are Shelby Lawson from the University of Illinois for her talk entitled Cooperative Heterospecific Eavesdropping on an Antiparasitic Referential Alarm Call, and Matthew Zippel from Duke University for his talk entitled Intergenerational Fitness Effects of Early Adversity in a Wild Primate Behavioral Mechanisms. Shelby Lawson is a PhD student with Dr. Mark Hauber, and she presented an experimental approach to understanding interspecific communication. She studies a referential alarm call, specifically a call given by yellow warblers only in response to, that is referring to, brown-headed cowbirds, that infamous brood parasite. Based on Shelby's data, it appears that red-winged blackbirds have also associated this alarm call with its referent. So if referential alarm calls or referential signals weren't cool enough, this is an example where the reference or the meaning of the signal has transferred from one species to another. Very nice work, Shelby. Matthew Zippel is a PhD student with Dr. Susan Alberts. Matthew analyzed the long-term data sets in multiple species of primates to address questions about the effect of early life adversity. He showed that females who experience adversity early in life transmit those harmful effects to their own offspring even if those offspring themselves don't experience similar adversity. And then to get at the mechanism of that intergenerational effect, he focused on baboons and analyzed hours of behavioral observations, found that infants born to higher adversity mothers are exposed to more adult males early in life, and that exposure in turn has demonstrable effects that could explain the intergenerational outcome. Very nice work, Matthew. And finally, we would also like to give an honorable mention to Wynne, Hong Jim Roslip from UCLA for his talk entitled Studying Migratory Behavior in Parading Shrimps to Inform Conservation and Ecotourism Management. Wynn's PhD advisor is Dr. Daniel Blumstein. We felt that Wynn's work exemplifies the role that animal behavior research can play in conservation and sustainability. His experimental work on parading shrimp behavior in Thailand was explicitly designed to inform a management plan that respects and engages local communities supporting both their culture and their economy, while also working to find the best solution to protect the animals. We are so pleased to honor Wynn's work. So, congratulations again to our recipients. Thank you to all the excellent presenters in this year's Elise Sessions, to the audience members who attended, and of course, to the animals who motivate us and teach us something new every day. We'll see you next year.